So hi and welcome to another video and today we're going to be testing some hyperglide feet on the FK2 from Zowie here on these four mice pads. So if you've been following my video you know I've used the Zowie FK2 here as the benchmark mouse. We use the standard pads, I've put a link in the description to all these other videos. We've used the standard pads for the these four mouse pads as well which is the Zowie GSR SE, the Coolmaster MP510 that you all requested the Steel Series QCK and the Logitech G640. Now I have a ton of other mouse pads that you've all requested and they've all arrived. I don't know where I'm going to put them all. I've got every Artisan one. I've got the Zowie GSR standard ones. I've got Razer ones. I've got Helios ones. I've got a lot of mouse pads and we will get through those, but it's going to take me some time. So bear with me. For now, we're just going to use these four to get the initial benchmark and then we can use that for the guides to understand how fast they are and the difference with the mice feet as well. The main purpose of this video is to understand the hyperglides. So I'm going to use a force gauge meter and that's going to show us how much force is being used to push the mouse across the pad. A few of you have suggested things like pulling the mouse as well, but we're not going to use a pull mechanism at the minute unless you've got any ideas, put it in the comments because it'll make the test a bit unfair. I think and pushing it is probably the best option here so far. So these hyperglide pads, while these are hard to get hold of, the FK2 ones are not particularly that hard, but certainly are for things like the G-Pro Wireless, which they don't make yet. So I want to do that. I have done some other mice. And these come in at 0.7 millimeters. Everyone raves about hyperglides. These are the ones that people say are really good. I really want to see how these compare to the other skates that we've tested in mice feet and see whether they really are as good as people think they are. If you're not sure how to understand these results, the force is taken in grams. And the lower the force, the faster the mouse pad, and therefore the faster the mouse glides across the less control the more force you see so the bigger the number the more force is required and it gives you a more of a control on the mouse surface Thank you. 
So now we've tried these Hyperglide mice feet, I'm going to do another video in a bit to show the comparison of all these to make them into one video. So you don't have to go through each individual one. And then we'll get onto other mouse pads as well and start testing those out. But at least we'll have that benchmark to try and get a good idea of how fast these other mice pads are. That's the idea. So if you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you want to see. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.